and liftoff. It took seven months for the Mars 2020 Perseverance spacecraft to travel between Earth and Mars. And once it arrives, seven minutes to travel from the top of the atmosphere to the surface. A landing on Mars is all about finding a way to stop and stop in the right place. Officially, it's called Entry, Descent, and Landing, or EDL. But at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, they have another name for it. Seven minutes of terror. There is nothing we can do to help Perseverance land. She's got to do this all on her own. The problem is the lag time. Right now, it takes 11 minutes for radio signals traveling the speed of light to reach Earth from Mars. We can't guide it. We can't pilot it on its own. Uh, Perseverance has to. We have to train Perseverance to do it on her own. Um, and all of the activities that occur during those seven minutes of terror have to be autonomous. So there's a lot of stress on me and the team to, uh, to get that right. The Mini Cooper-sized Perseverance will begin its descent going more than 12,000 miles an hour. It's a high-stakes gut-wrencher for the team in Pasadena. I don't think a day went by over the last eight years when I did not think about this upcoming, you know, uh, seven minutes. It's still nerve-wracking. You still feel sick to your stomach. You know, it's all, this, all the same stuff that happens when you're just not sure. Perseverance must deploy the parachute Jettison the heat shield and the back shell. Then it's time to fire up the retro rockets on the descent stage. Finally, the rover is winched down to the surface. It's called the Sky Crane. One failure and it's game over. It all may seem a little harebrained, but the one time NASA tried it with the Curiosity rover in 2012, it worked like a charm. Of course, 25 years ago, this landing technique seemed kind of crazy too. But the old bounce and roll method delivered Pathfinder, Spirit, and Opportunity to the rusty regolith with no problems. The technique won't work for larger payloads, and it's not very precise. The broadside of a red barn comes to mind. But scientists want to land close to rugged terrain so they could easily inspect and sample water-formed rock outcroppings. They are the mother load in the quest to understand the history of liquid water and maybe life on Mars. Perseverance is headed to do some prospecting in just such a place, the Jezero Crater. The place we're going, Jezero Crater, is a fabulous landing site. And after we picked it a few years ago, the Mars 2020 science team really dug into what was there. And the more we looked, the more interesting it became. But when I look at Jezero as somebody charged with landing the mission there, I see danger. Uh, but now, because we have a couple of new pieces of technology in our entry, descent, and landing system for Perseverance, we think we can go there safely. The engineers and scientists came to terms by developing some new technology this time around. Perseverance is equipped with a so-called range trigger, which orients the craft and releases the parachute at just the right moment to home in on the landing site at Jezero. And there's another system called terrain relative navigation. As the craft is plummeting toward the surface, it will take a series of images looking for obstacles like boulders and hopefully steering away from them. There's no way we could have done uh, this mission 10 or even five years ago. When we did Curiosity, we would never have been able to land it as tightly as we're landing Perseverance in Jezero. The team has tested all of this every which way it could imagine, but they all know Mars has a way of foiling even the smartest robotic spacefarers. It wears on you, right? There's a, the fact that the entire mission's counting on you, and we want to make sure that we take that first step, that first step of that race, without falling down. At this point, there's little more they can do but hope that on game day, Perseverance will be true to its name. For my radar, I'm Miles O'Brien. Follow my radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download my radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.